All right, welcome back. We're going to work the next problems on activity 1.1.2 for POE 10 through 13. So we're going to start out here and we says, uh, what is the linear distance traveled in one rotation of a 36 inch diameter wheel? So what is it asking me to do? It's asking me to find the circumference. That's the, the distance uh, that it's going to travel in one rotation. So circumference is pi times diameter. So real easily, I can just say, well, uh, pi 3.14 times 36. And then that's going to give me uh, roughly 113 inches. Um, you can just use the, the, the pi key on your calculator if you want. Let's, let's just do it. 36 times pi. Check my math. And, oh, why am I blind today? Uh, I couldn't. 113.04. That's close enough. Oh, there it is. 36 pi. Yeah, 37. That's good. Okay. Now, um, next thing it says, it kind of, <laughs> we have this and then we don't really come back to it. So I guess they're just wanting us to try to check that, that we understand, uh, what circumference is. The next is says, uh, industrial water shutoff valve is designed to operate with 30 pounds of effort force. Okay. So right there, as I'm reading that, I'm going to go, okay, I got a force effort and it's 30 pounds. Uh, the valve will encounter 200 pounds of resistance force. So I know my force resistance is 200 pounds applied to a 1.5 inch diameter axle. So that is going to be, let's see if the, if the resistance force is applied, then this force that they're talking about right is going to be let's see is that going to be my my force effort or my force resistance 200 pounds force resistance and then this diameter i mean is that going to be my distance effort or my distance resistance well what do you think distance resistance okay and it's 1.5 inch diameter okay um so we just kind of write down that stuff. Next up, uh, we're going to sketch this guy. So we've got an axle and we've got a wheel. And what do we know about this industrial water shot off valve? So where are you going to be? Where are you going to be touching this thing, right? You're going to be turning it here. So this is going to be this diameter will be my distance effort whenever we, we may not know it yet, this guy here, right, is going to be my distance resistance. So that diameter is 1.5 inches, okay, diameter. Then we also know that um, our force resistance, so if, if I, the way I like to kind of do that is I said, okay, if I was thinking about maybe force resistance there is pointing up, and then maybe the effort is pointing down. Just kind of draw it like that. All right. So we've got kind of an annotated sketch there, and, and we know those two things over there. So the thing that we don't know is this distance effort. Uh, what is the required AMA? Uh, what's the actual required mechanical advantage? So AMA, and remember my formula is AMA is not free, FR over FE. So FR over FE. Well, my force resistance is 200 pounds over 30 pounds. So when we do that math, um, that is going to be 6.67. Next, what is the required wheel diameter to overcome the resistance force? So, what is it asking me? It's asking me that static equilibrium, what do I need to have to, to, to turn that thing? What's my, what's my uh, wheel diameter going to be? How big does it need to be uh, to do that? 
And so to use that, we're going to, once again, uh, we can do it one of two ways. We can set IMA is equal to AMA, or we can, um, we can do it with the kind of the static equilibrium. The thing that we've got here that we need to pay attention to is that we've got these guys in inches here. So that's the, we need to, we need to do that. So we need to convert um, our formula into, um, just make sure we use like units, I guess, is the, is the deal. Okay, so M is equal to M resistance effort. It will work either way. I could use inches per feet. Or I, could, or I could use circumference, I could use diameter, that's what I'm trying to say. I could use circumference, I could use diameter, or I could use radius, as long as I use both of them, because I, I wouldn't want to use a radius when we're working these, and a diameter, or circumference, and a diameter, or I need to make sure those things are light. So, um, anyway, so when I think about that, remember these things is force times distance is equal to force times distance. On this side, we'll do our resistance. This side will do our effort. And so I can say, okay, force resistance is 200 pounds uh, times our distance resistance, right? Which is 1.5 uh, on our diameter. And then we can say that is equal to uh, 30 pounds times x okay so if you do all of that math the 200 uh, times 1.5 divided by 30 you will end up with 10 inches is what we've got and i hope that helps